Jovic right there for Juventus. And that is his first goal in his first start in the UEFA Champions League. Arsenal was talking a lot about Vlaovic in, in the winter transfer window until we just saw that Juventus hijacked that deal from Arsenal. But then it is the best for Juventus as he is there banging in the goals for them. And in the Italian Serie A, ah, that is where Juventus 2 are playing, the special one, Jose Murillo, has been banned for two matches after insulting referee Pareto. And, 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 and also 20,000 and also 20,000 euros. euros. Um, what does this speak for a coach of caliber of Mourinho? I'm not surprised. He, he keeps doing things like this in wherever, wherever league he goes to. The EPL president know him very well for you know uh, stuff like this. He didn't just insult the referee. He made a call across to the referee, you know, uh, after the game, talking about the referee's father involved in the match fixing scandal and all that. And I'm very sure the referee reported to the referee committee and, and they took it up. So he was lucky getting getting a two match ban. We have got gotten more stiffer you know punishment than that. How can you call a referee after a game and tell him about his father that was involved in the match fixing situation, which is wrong, you know? So you don't do stuff like that. You don't. You don't go up, you don't go beyond your line. You have you have a line. You, you don't cross the line. Yeah, you don't cross the line. So he, he did that and, and, and he got he got paid for it. I mean, and he paid for it. Every, everywhere there's there's always a boundary everywhere. And and I think the boundary needs to be marked for Murillo. He he happens to, to say a lot of things as auspicious times and he seems to get away with everything. I, I, I hope this this serves as a lesson to not just Mourinho alone, but to all officials in the world of sports to know the boundaries. So our, our legendary player, Pele, is right there in the hospital and we are wishing him a quick recovery. He's going into for chem chemotherapy. I, I, I think sports, cancer and, and the likes in the world of sports, what do we need to do to, to increase the, the initiative behind this and, and the sensitization about cancer? Well, there's been a fight for cancer, not just, you know, um, in sports alone. It's been, it's, it's a daily affair. United Nations is doing a lot about fighting cancer and all that. But I think there are professional, professional motives, you know, and, and rules and regulations people need to adhere to in order to stay away from these things, you know. And um, Edson Arante, Donald Cemento, as well, knowing Pele, um, it's really sad, you know, but I, 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 we learned he's kind of stable right now. Yes. And, yes. It's, and this thing comes when it comes with the age 10, it's 81, you know, so, um, I wish him speedy recovery, and um, it tells a lot of people. Look, you guys need to take a cue from this. You get, you need to stay. Away. When you're playing professional football, there are a lot of things you need to stay away from. So when you when you leave the game and age is calling, you don't fall, you know, ill to some kind of um, you know um, deadly you know uh, sickness as this. That is just it, and this could be the bit of what we're going to be having on the show today. Before you go, there is MPFL action later in the night, and that is Sunshine United. Austin Wiki Tourist and Gumbi United playing versus Play 2 United. And in the EPL, there is Liverpool, Austin Leeds United, and Watford, Austin Crystal Palace, and Tottenham visiting Burnley. Thank you to everyone in the MCR. Not to say, Joe, I hope you had a nice day today. Thanks for having me. And I say thank you to our own CEO, Dickin Osasua, to Prince Will Vieso, the Duke himself, everyone in the MCR talking about Ahmed, the Duke will say I'm a tekun. <laughs> so let me just call him like that. We we'll say a very big thank you to every of our listener and viewer today. And we'll be coming back to you on Friday to bring you all the major highlights and exciting events in the world of sports. Stay tuned with Super Screen and don't forget. Bye bye.